to uh, review the yep. picks and so bands. GTS is in real the purple, quick. and then Thermal take in the blue. Yes, um, so it's kind of an unusual team for both of them, but I mean, it's definitely solid. Uh, Thermal takes team is a little bit more common though. Yes, yes it is. Uh, so let's go uh, review over the bands real quick. Uh, Thermal take banned out Morgana and Nivea and Shen. Uh, GTS banned out Twisted Fate, Gregus, and Draven. Uh, I mean, t TF, pretty popular, you know, in the Asia scene right now. You know, you want, there's big, huge, aggressive play there. TF's awesome. Gregus, yeah, he's a pretty he's cool a good guy. Changer. Gregus, Dra oh, you know, Gregus, he, he can sometimes, you know, play a lot of roles in mid. Draven, I don't know. I don't know. We'll talk about that later. Uh, but the first pick for a We've thermal take. Raven work well in some comps. In some comps. He, he does have some strengths to him. But both teams actually setting yeah. up here, uh, looking for an early invade. And um, I don't know. It seems like uh, GTS. Oh, yeah. They're ready for it. They want to maybe get yeah. the advance scoop on them. They have the ward up there at their blue. So when there's the late invade, I'm wondering if this is something that thermal take is known for, going for the river invade. Um, mm. But they, I mean, they do have a very strong level one with the Alistar and the Corky as well. Yeah. So they will be safe. We'll be able to protect the Mumus. That's that's the big thing is protecting a Mumus blue. Yep. Unless they're going to decide to come around on the other route, but we'll we'll have to see. They have their own blue warded as well, so they they really want to be aggressive here. They want to be able to take this blue. Uh, that L star uh, was also the first pick for Thermal Take, uh, but Vane, Vane actually being the last pick Minions for GTS. It's kind of you know not usually common where you see the uh, AD pick last, but they will get vision. They know they're being invaded. So right now it's one matter of GTS if they're going to do anything at all. Away waste, going to get some damage down, and right now GTS is going to go ahead and retreat out of that tri brush. So, but you're still spotted out. You are still seen. GTS, they have the vision on you. Uh, uh, I'm not I, quite this sure. This is going to be the slowest game ever because neither team wants to engage. They, it's just yeah. a Mexican standoff here. Aurelia actually might be the first to see the enemy, but uh, I don't know. They actually they they steal the quick. blue really quickly. So yeah. Lucin gets it, is able to get bandage out. The bandage from a Mumu coming on wow. and grab, trying to grab Alstar, but Alstar with the flash, pulverize, getting everyone from GTS in the first blood going down to Aurelia. Alstar does fall shortly thereafter. But right now, Aurelia is trying to get out of there, but it looks like York man should be caught a little bit too far behind. Soraka going to be going down to the auto attacks from Corky, but the flash over the wall. Easton will go ahead and get that grab and get that kill onto York. Three oh, for one, plus the blue steel. That's painful. So this game is almost over already for GTS. And here's the thing. Um, I'll, I'll talk about what they're trying to go for with their comp in a second, but Amumu, he's so far behind in the jungle right now, he's going to really struggle to get any right. levels with the bandage toss. Uh, so he's going to be slow. They're already down two kills. They're down the first blood. They're down the blue. So Amumu is going to be you know, very, almost worthless. He, uh, uh, I, I, would, I, would, I wouldn't be far stretched to say that Amumu is no longer in this game. Right. I, I mean, at least for a little bit. And Lee Sin is going to take some serious advantages from that. That's mm -hmm. a really scary uh, threat. Um, we'll see if you know, anyone tries to help him for red or anything to try and speed him back up but yeah uh, right now they just need to play defensively they need to get back in their lanes and they had an interesting team comp their main goal it's uh they have both mord and york so they're looking to not turn it into a five before they're looking to turn it into a six v four is is how they're looking to fight so burst one person down with mord and then also have the york alt but lee sin actually coming up top and york is actually caught out of position there's the Aurelia stun. stun and then the lee sin kick coming in with the slow More and m big is going down so four to one for thermal take already in this game it's more more absolutely more than enough and least in because he's so far ahead he can go ahead for aggressive jungle invades like this he's just gonna go ahead he's pass up on the red who cares he did get pinged by Amumu he was hiding out in the brush expecting Lee to actually come on around Mord may want to come by and make something of this but uh, Aurelia is actually gonna be invading as well to try and just secure the red as much as possible and I don't think Amumu is gonna be really getting any buffs here so there you go, Red being focused down. May even just give it to Aurelia just well, for a top lane. He needs to steal his own buff, and he has the smite up. Actually, nope. Lee Sin is able to take it down, but now there's a full blown fight, and Lee Sin Ooh. is actually caught out of position. The bandage toss, and nice. now Mord with the double buff. Uh, that actually helps him out pretty nicely. It's, it's a shame that uh, Amumu wasn't able to get it, but even so, it, you if know they what? Get Snowball Mord, that's that's huge. Yes, Mord, a hugely powerful Mord can do wonders, wonders for your team. And you know he's going to be pushing on in mid anyway. That's what Mord does naturally. But now he can is all that all this extra harass, the increased cooldowns, 
And you know, this, this could also put him in a pretty good position to go ahead and just steal wraiths or even wander out into uh, other lanes once he hits six, once he becomes even more powerful. But that that double buff will definitely give him a huge edge in lane. Their headbutt, Pulverize coming from Alistar down in the bot lane. A lot of auto attack damage going down onto Vayne, but she will oh, Mord walk actually away from that one. With Lee Sin a little bit, trying to steal those wraiths, but he's a little bit out of position. He is a strong dueler with the double buff, but it doesn't help him in lane that much. The doesn't slow, have much and escapes. now Karthus is here as well, and he drops very wow. quickly. And so now here's the issue. Uh, I mean, you know, clearly he just gave him the double buff, but it didn't really help him at all to have it. And a lot of champions can take advantage of it. Mord against Karthus, Karthus can safely farm. So there was really no opportunity for him to be in an advantageous yep. position from it. And all it did was it, it gave him that sort of arrogance where he's like, oh, I've got the double buff. I can steal the wraith. So and it, it really didn't help him at all. So um, putting yep. himself out of position there. That's the big thing. When you have a pusher that wants to steal wraiths, you want to try and intercept them in the river because you can usually pinch people off and they're out of position and the thing too here is that you know leeson's got double buff refreshed now every time it passes along every time you kill someone the timer resets so you have it for that full duration so he's actually going to still have blue when gts's blue comes back up yeah so he, it's, it's there's a possibility that there may actually be like three three blue buffs at any given time on the map so he may even decide to pass it up you know, may, may just keep him for himself pass along like Corky or whoever the hell. You know, if they're going to be having that much buff control, they may as well condemn going down to Corky just to shove him away. But uh, right now, Thorn takes looking pretty damn good. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to see how they can kind of make this up, but they need good ward coverage. Uh, they have a de decent job right now. They, you know, recognize Lee Sin's paths. They want to just kind of sit back and farm. Uh, oh, Ooh, wow. Nice headbutt. Very quickly. Wow, Vayne's actually going to go down. One more attack. So they will have to back off. Two main turret shots. Damage under the turret. Too um, many turret yeah. shots. You cannot be getting that close. I mean, you, granted, you, you've already shoved GTS away. Just no, go for the kill. Be greedy. Coming mid once again, backing off. Back off. Ward a little bit too far away. But Corky and Alistar are just crushing bottom, and they have complete control over that lane. And yeah. part of the issue is that Mumu has no, no uh, potential for map. Coming in from behind, looking to push the wave and is go ahead and try and get that quick kill onto Vayne. There's the flash. There's the pulverize. Going to go ahead and safeguard down over to Soraka. That's a quick one. That's a really quick one, but will Alstar be able to get out of there? No, unfortunately, but no, there was no damage going down on him. It's just a straight out deny. Yeah, I was kind of surprised, though. He didn't need to die. If he had just walked up a step, he would have disengaged the tower aggro. So kind of mm. a misplay by him, but even so, the tower got the kill, so it doesn't, didn't really matter. Um, <laughs> and with the early advantage, the Oracle's on Lee Sin is huge, so he yes. can just continue to really aggressively push. And actually, he's going for the dragon now, and with Karthus's early advantage, and Karthus is a very strong uh, you know, champion for taking dragon, but Amulu does see him, so he actually might engage in this. No, just going to back off, take that blue. So another gold lead for Thermal Take. But uh, here's the thing, though. Amumu... Now, you know, ever since that red engage, he's been waiting by his buffs just to see. Just to see if anyone comes on up, expecting them to show so he can attempt to try and you know, do something, get an engage or steal or anything. But that's really putting him in a defensive position. But granted, he will now finally get his first blue buff of the game. So maybe he can go ahead and try and catch up in the jungle just a little bit. But it's still a pretty, pretty massive deficit. Lee Sin has nearly double the gold on Amumu right now. Well, and part of the issue is not only are they behind, but they the team that they're running, they have a team that they need to be ahead in the game. They, they're mm -hmm. running a tanky team um, with the idea of getting in a, a team fight advantage by bursting someone down. But it's it's a heavy melee team and short range team. Bane is also short range against the AOE of Karthus, against Corky's AOE, lots of disables and Aurelia up front tanking. So if they're behind where they can't instantly burst someone down with Mordekaiser, very quickly they're going to lose fights spectacularly. and and. Thermal take is just going to be in such a huge advantage. And actually, Karthus, if he had the mana, would almost take down more <laughs> there. But uh, he'll be able to get back and grab a Hextech, so he'll be a little bit safer in lane. And, and here, and this is just straight out disrespect. Karthus buys the Soul Stealer, but provided he's got four assists already. They're so far ahead in the lead. And, you know, while it's a, it's, it's a somewhat of a jerk move, granted, you know, a, a Soul Stealer on Karthus, if getting the stacks, I, that's just... It can be pretty brutal. It can be absolutely brutal, especially with the global ult. He'll have all the assists or even kills that he's gonna, you know, they can, they'll never need to fill that thing up with stacks. And you know, he's gonna, he's a passive farmer in mid. He's not gonna be, you know, too threatened here by Mord because he's just straight out the one with more aggression. Yeah, but in the meantime, Corky and Alistar, with the early advantages that they have, are just abusing Vayne and Soraka in that bottom lane. 
And Corky versus Soraka. It's a very favorable matchup. And actually, Alistar nice. with the headbutt pulverized. Vayne's going to drop very quickly. Does get out of there. But actually, the Karth Karth and the long range Corky missile is able to pick up that kill. Amumu is here as well, though, and Mord. So if they can kind of bait this in for a little he bit, he has to but bandage has defensively to, to just try and get out of here. But Mord is going to make an appearance. Not going to be doing much. But oh, uh, wow. oh there really was a nice kill, quick kill, top, top lane. York, you know, he was brought down a, li a little bit of health, just gone down from the Karthus ult. But there you go, Aurelia with the quick surge and stun and the ignite and the ult. We're getting really aggressive flash that has more than enough damage to go ahead and finish that. Yeah, they just have really nice lane advantages um, all around the map. They had favorable matchups for themselves. York does very well against Aurelia. That should have been something that GTS, um, you know, could have won that lane. But with the early advantages for Aurelia, mm -hmm. Aurelia was able to abuse them. And there is a point in time where Aurelia does take over and has the killing potential. And that's what we've kind of seen here. But just all around a massacre for Thermal Take right now. Um, you know, we'll, we'll see if GTS can kind of pull this off because th they have a decent late game with Vayne and if they can get more to snowball these fights. Mm. But in the meantime, they're trying to force a 4v3 bottom. They don't really have a strong initiation presence unless Mumu can get in range. So they'll have to. Right. I mean, granted, now Amumu is 6. He's caught up a little bit. And Lee Sin's also 6. But the thing is, you know, Amumu with that ultimate allows you know, all the CC that GTS needs to try and just, you know, get that single target damage onto someone. Hopefully, you can get something like a Vayne go. That would be amazing for GTS right now to have uh, to have uh, Vayne's on their team. What am I saying? I'm an idiot. Corky yeah, Ghost. With Corky the Ghost. Yeah, the Corky Ghost. Vang oh, Vayne with the Orc. Yeah. But the, the tough thing that they're facing off against right now is just that they they don't have a means of farming or getting themselves back into this game. And yeah. Corky. Going with the double doors into the phage, it's one of the strongest item builds for abusing a lane when you're already ahead. Yeah. So he takes the early farm advantage rather than building like a BF sword or something where you'd have stronger harass, he turns himself into a fantastic dueler. And then actually, oh, nice. they have plenty of damage. Alistar with the headbutt pulverized, Vayne has to back out of there. So yep. again, just so much pressure and constantly GTS has to worry about this bottom lane. Amumu and Mor are kind of sitting down there because they know that if they don't, Corky and Alistar are going to crush them. And as a result, Aurelia gets the free lane top, and Karthus gets the free farm mid. Mm -hmm. I, it, it totally slipped my mind. He was like, "Oh, that York has that ghost thing too." So there's, you know, it's it's very possible they could try and turn something into like a four v seven even. You know, get the York goes from, uh, get the uh, uh, Vayne oh, goes from York. Mord catch it, oh, there we go, Mord. There's the quick kick. He gets the flash and over, but Karthus should be able to pick this up. Ghost and on actually, Karthus. actually, Karthus is very close to going down, so they might get their first kill of the game here. There you uh, go. Sorry, third kill of the game. <laughs> but uh, first kill in a fight, and Amumu is very low. Lee Sin but should Lee be Sin able to clean up here. Get it. Oh, his ult was used during that fight, but Aurelia is here to try and save the day. Has more than enough health to try and take the turret. And there you go. There's the kill onto Mord. And Amumu, he's got a long walk to try and retreat from this one he's just going all the way down just trying oh nice bandage through the wall onto the small golems he may actually escape from this one just trying to see where he can go where his safety spot is he should be able to go ahead recall oh no that sucks that sucks <laughs> yeah uh, almost being able to get out of there not quite so yeah. That oh well. Been, uh, that would have been kind of interesting. That, that would. I mean, that was all things considered a fantastic escape. But Karthus, he came back. His ult wasn't up during the fight, but when he's respawned, it sure was. And there you go, quick easy kill. So how many? He's got five stacks on him so far. It's pretty good. You know, it's a uh, Magi's pays for. You know, Magi's breaks even at six stacks, and everything from there on is just pure absolute profit. Well, well, we'll have to see. I mean, right now it's just it's such an uphill battle, and the the big issue is that the team fight wise, um, it's a much easier job for Thermal Take to win these fights, and they mm -hmm. have the AOE where they can easily just crush GTS, and not only that, but they have such a significant gold advantage. So once they decide to start grouping up and pushing, they should be able to have their way with GTS for the most part. And Corky actually walking into this, that might have been a bad situation for him if uh, Amumu and Bane had engaged, but he's almost strong enough where he could just 2v1 them, or even 3v1 them if Soraka comes down. No, but still, they're just trying to secure the blue. Amumu will actually pick that up with the smite and gonna walk on back. Dragon is up though, so uh, right now Thermal Take just gonna go ahead and grab that real quick. Gets a little bit more extra global gold for themselves. Karthus is sticking in the mid, looking to just, you know, he's out pushing Mord. That's just kind of silly to me. Yeah, more, I mean, you know, when you think Mord in the mid, he's just a relentless pusher. You're farming under tower, but Karthus is actually just you know, winning that war. Just kind of amazing to me.
and Aurelia still just pushing on relentlessly up top here. Yorick's trying to dissuade her, but it's not going to be doing a whole hell of a lot. There's a three-level advantage onto Aurelia right now. And with her advantages, it's, it's just going to be so difficult. And not just that, but Mord actually going with a uh, Negatron Cloak. So mm -hmm. uh, he's not going to have quite the burst damage that you would want. He is going to be very tanky, but it's it's even so. They're running a melee tanky team against Karthus and Corky. So, they, I don't know, it's really not a good situation for them to be in. They won't have enough damage to take anyone down from Thermal Take once the team fights start happening. Um, so I'm a little bit surprised that Thermal Take it hasn't started pushing that aggressively yet, but it, it's still really early in this game. Yeah. They're fine with just continuing their advantage, and actually three guys coming down bot, but Corky should be okay to get out of there. Yeah, he should be fine. And there's, the ward coverage is sufficient enough for Corky. You know, he's got plenty of time to sit back and treat, and now that they have the vision, now that they know the three members of GTS are displaced, that's more than enough time for oh, Karthus and Lee to just try and push on it, but there's the bandage. Lee Sin, and he has his ultimate not going to use it, so Lee Sin just backs up easily, and they're, they're just scared. They recognize they can't fight them right now, so they're not even trying to engage. Yep, so still, though, I mean, it's there is plenty of pressure here from t from Thermal Take to just go ahead and try and pressure down his target. Amumu's been to Vayner a little bit far out, but nice bandage coming in from Amumu to try and single out Corky, but I'm not sure if he's actually going to be able to escape from that one. Valkyrie over. Karthus ult, going to go ahead and ensure that kill. And meanwhile, in mid, Tier 1 has gone down. Look at the pressure. And Aurelia's just standing there. She doesn't even need to be a part of this fight until like later on. She's like the mom cheering on at soccer. It's like, yeah, you can do it. Go. Score that goal. Make that touchdown. <laughs> I, they're, they're going to score that touchdown. They're going to score that touchdown. What, what to say? <laughs> it, it's it's just I don't know. Thermal take manhandling them. So I'm I'm really you know interested to see how thermal take continues to do going forward. And uh, when we start seeing. Um, you know, did, did you guys watch Thermal Take versus Corsair? This is the first Thermal Take uh, game we okay. watched. So, yeah, Thermal Take versus Corsair will definitely be a really exciting match. Um, SSWIE as well. Uh, that should be pretty interesting. And we'll see who can make it out of this group stage. But right now, it's it's looking pretty grim for GTS. And I, there's just not a lot of potential for their team at this point in the game. Yeah, um, yeah it's, it's just tough. I mean, Corky almost done with the Trinity Force, compared with Vayne, who has no items, basically. Dorans. She, she has the Dorans, so, she, you know, Vayne just doesn't have the damage that you need. Mordekaiser, yeah. his only ability power is from his Hextech, so he has to go defensive because of the pressure. He's not going to have any damage, really. Yorick doesn't have any damage, so it's, they just have a couple of guys that aren't as tanky as you would like them to be, and don't have, you know, the damage output that you would expect to see at this point, so yeah. it's it, against a heavy AoE team, when you already have people that are incredibly tanky, it's just going to be so difficult for them to pick up kills, and Karthus with the rod, he can just run right into the middle of their team, clean sweep them, and it, it's just, yep. there's not a lot of options for them, so I'm, I'm surprised that, you know, we're not seeing um, thermal take just kind of group up look for advantages but I think the big thing is they they don't want to push that aggressively and just stall out at a tower so they recognize they can continue to take leads and actually Ward he'll be going down very quickly actually he's no, trying to regain he has trying his ultimate to... so he's going to get out but uh, there's Corky's Corky here. coming in so Corky trying to pick up those kills they can't quite get it will back off but this could lead to a tower yeah this is, this is more than enough of a sufficient push I and mean, Corky with all that damage in the back line should be able to go ahead and push the creep wave. Amumu's a little bit too weak. He has to back in vain, though she's in trouble as well. Karthus with the wall off, trying to catch somebody, trying to catch anything, and the lay waste was keep <laughs> Amumu a little bit more busy and have to walk manually back to base. But uh, Lee Sin, just looking to just go ahead and rejoin the rest of the team. Aurelia is now here looking to push this uh, tier two in mid, going to go down to pretty quick. And there's, yeah, there's nothing GTS can do to engage upon this. They're gonna walk in and they're gonna get stunned, they're gonna get walled, and they're gonna be dead pretty, pretty quickly. Yeah, and Thermal Take might actually be pressuring this. Yeah, so it yeah, is they got Baron. Baron. They have plenty of damage once Karthus gets over there. The only issue for them is Karthus is pretty low on mana, so they will have to watch out if they get kind of low. This is like actually a great opportunity for GTS, but they're not aware of the situation, and they are killing the Baron too quickly. Yeah. So Thermal Take very easily is going to be able to take down this Baron, and will be able to back off, go buy your items, and then regroup. Uh, but they're actually, find they might out. just force this. There you go. Now they know Lee Sin trying to get in and should be making quick work. 
of Mordecai's rule. Going. There's the Amumul, does actually get everyone but Aurelia, and actually Lee Sin does actually go down in the middle of this fight. Mordecai's are going down next to the Alistar, and Corky looking to start cleaning up on pretty much everybody. A little bit of a delayed cleanse from Vayne, but hey, there you go, Karthus ult looking to go ahead, and there's a double kill from Karthus, grabs Amumu as well, and that is it. That is an ace for Thermal Take Dragons. Yeah, and usually this would be an inhibitor. It's going to be kind of tight. They should be able to pick up the inhibitor here, but because GTS is so far behind, they're actually going to respawn fairly quickly. So it's going yeah. to be kind of a sticky situation, but they should be able it to take it. Even when th uh, GTS respawns, they'll be able to fight them three, uh, 3v5 almost. So yeah. um, they will be able to grab this and then continue to pressure the game. Uh, I mean, there's we'll just see. so much damage coming in yeah. from Corky and Aurelia. I mean, it's just, yeah, Inhib should be fine. Even when the rest of the team does get here, they should be able to get out pretty quickly. But actually, just going to go ahead and stick around, try and get some free damage down there onto Mordekaiser. York is out in front. Alistar is back in the mix. Got the rest of the minions there pushing. And what Lee Sin's just, uh... What are the stacks at? That's or what are they at? 13 stacks on the Karthus. So pretty, pretty uh, high up there. Yeah. Doing a decent job. He's got his money worth. He's definitely getting his money worth, but you know, that's the thing. That's one of the best items you can get. If you're ahead and you know your team's very far ahead and you know that you're relatively safe, it's a pretty good it's a pretty good investment. Not always the best investment, not something you always want to be buying. It's just you don't want to be, you know, walking into every game's like, I'm gonna buy a mage eyes and it's gonna be awesome and we're gonna win. It's, no, it's, it doesn't work like that. You have to have the the right lead in order to make the purchase worthwhile. And this is definitely one of those like this is definitely one of those situations. Yeah. No, yeah, it, I mean it definitely works, but e even if you're this far ahead, it's usually just going to be better to buy a more normal item, a safer item. But he recognizes he can uh, force people onto him. Aurelia actually getting uh, York pretty low. <laughs> wow, we this. actually get it right here. Try and pick up the skill into York. You might as well. Karthus actually with the support. so Might be enough. York, there yes, you go. Oh, wow. And Vayne got hugely chunked out as well. Soraka had the ultimate, though, so I'm surprised uh, she didn't pop that heal. I am, In the meantime, uh, yeah. the rest of the team is pushing down the bottom lane. So with no one to defend it, they should be able to take this tower pretty easily. Yeah, everyone's course, actually jumping onto Mordekaiser, so he's going to drop very quickly yep, as well. Yep, pretty quick. But yeah, this is uh, everyone's split. They can't possibly defend this push right now. Just every lane is looking to push. And Corky could just go ahead. One, two. D that was almost just a two shot from Corky down onto Vayne. But there you go. The Nexus turrets are now being focused. Moore's not going to be back for a while. Granted, York will be back. But there's only so much that can be done. Second Nexus turret going down. Amumu trying to make something happen. There goes the ult. This is the last stand coming in from GTS. And uh, not this. Uh, it's not looking pretty favorable at all, really. There's the York ult going down onto Vayne, trying to get a little bit extra damage, but Lisa will just go ahead and kick York away, and that will be all she wrote. Thermal Take Dragons going to be entering group stage 1-0, and GTS is not the greatest of spots. They're 0-2 right now, so yes, I don't know. It looks grim for them. It, it was the, they had kind of an unusual team, but the difficulty is they needed their team comp. In order for it to work, they needed to be even coming through the mid-game, and they needed to be able to yeah. pick up some quick bursts and then use the double ghost to take an advantage there. They were so far behind early, they didn't really have a whole lot to do. Mm. Um, the early level one fight, kind of a mistake. I think they were hoping that someone had left for Thermal Take and that they would have a 4v5 advantage. But Amumu, they had already gotten the blue. Yeah. Thermal Take was getting out of there. There was no reason to fight anymore. And Amumu was just like spiteful. He was like, hey, come yeah. back here. I want to fight. And he used a bandage toss. And then they lost the fight. So yes. 3v1 level 1, lost the first blood, lost the blue, and now Amumu has to jungle with bandage toss. And you, you can jungle with your uh, E. You don't have to necessarily go with your W first. I, either but one. you cannot jungle with your bandage toss. It's just, it cannot happen. So he was extremely far behind. Yeah. Lee Sin had complete control of the map the entire game. It allowed bot to be completely abusive with that really aggressive kill bot lane. And top lane, it really just had so much well. advantage to just crush crush York completely outright. Mordekaiser just could not get away from the ganks. And yeah, there's just everyone was just so behind from the get go. It was it was pretty much over straight away. But we're gonna have a little bit more Thermal Take Dragons action for you know coming up for you. They're gonna be going up against SSWIE next. Yeah, this is this is it. Like this is the group of death. You know, only you know, there's a lot of great teams here but only one can actually move on to champ bracket. There can be only one and, team and from the group C. Until until forward. someone comes back from the wild card bracket. But, you know, so, that's, that's neither here or there. But we will be uh, we will be back in a second. Yep. SSWIE versus Thermal Take Dragons IPL5 Taiwan Qualifiers Group C. We will be back in just a moment. Stay tuned.